Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is another very exciting one because we are trying Cursed Cosmetics, the Spellbook palette. I also have the three liquid lipsticks. Um, I'll show you them in just a moment. Um, this actually looks like a spell book, which I love the packaging, absolutely love it. And then when you open her up, there's a spell on one side and then you have these amazing, grungy, dark, mysterious colour story. And there's some glitters at the bottom, which as you can see, I haven't used today, but I will. So I'm just going to pop this down and show you these three lipsticks. They came in this little net bag, which I thought was so cute. And they are in these little, like little potion bottles. And they are beautiful there is green blue and the one that i have on my lips now so if you would like to see how i created this look see swatches of the other two lipsticks and hear my first impressions on the spell book by curse cosmetics then just keep on watching okay so i'm first going in with sacrifice which is this red here there doesn't seem to be any kick up in the pan I'm just going to... Oh, wow, this is some pigment. Okay. Excuse my phone. This really has some pigment. I'm going to use this to kind of blend itself out. But yeah, so for that pigment, I was not expecting that. I think this is more on the lines of a pinky red, like pink undertoned red, pink. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's blending beautifully. Let's see if we can uh, intensify that bit more then. Okay. Well, one colour down, and I'm, I'm actually really impressed with this one. I've been so excited for this to arrive, this collection. Just, I just thought it looked really unusual. It just looked right up my alley, like the, the kind of grungy dark side of me. Okay, I'm not complaining at that. So I'm just going to go in and pack some lower down. The owner of uh, Curse Cosmetics, oh my gosh, she was so lovely to talk to. And uh, originally my first, when it was first ordered, um, the shipping company actually lost the parcel um, she was so quick to get me another one sent out so I didn't miss out on it and she was just wonderful through the whole process it's really hot in here <laughs> I'm actually sweating a bit oh my god right I need to stop messing with this now because I like how that's looking It's so hot, it's melting my eye primer. <laughs> my word. It's building up beautifully on itself and then blending out is just a piece of cake. This shade would just look amazing all over the lid and everything. Like blending itself out into the into the crease oh christ i've lost the plot um but yeah it's just a one color look this color is stunning okay so i have no fallout whatsoever so let's pick another brush i am going to go into the outer v and inner crease with 
craft for black. I've been dying to check out this black. So let's see. Oh, okay. No, that's pretty nice. Let's see what the blendability of it is. Oh, okay. This blends beautifully. I am having zero issues with this blend. Wow. I uh, I may have surprised you guys for not. You know by not going in with the greens and blues but that's exactly why I wanted to go go for this look and also my beautiful friend and sister Dee Dee wants a red look and I am happy to oblige This black is actually really, really nice. Really nice. So have, uh, have any of you guys tried anything from Cursed Cosmetics? I, mean, I only recently discovered them myself. And yeah, very impressed so far. Yeah, I'm really, really, Loving how this is looking. So as any of you that are not new to my channel know, I have a passion for supporting indie brands. And especially the kind of lesser talked about ones. Just because I think they just haven't haven't been given the chance to be noticed. Right, okay. So I'm also not gonna go into the glitters today because I really just wanna check out some of these shimmers. I'm just gonna pop on some NYX glitter primer and then continue. Okay, so glitter primer on. I'm just going to take a bit more of craft, the black, just to go over the edge of that there nice now this is a good black a really good black Okay, so the first shimmer, do I want you and you? And you. Okay, so the first shimmer I'm going in with is Spell, which is this one here. And I'm going to place that on the very outer part here. Ooh. Hmm. Nice and dark. That is very pretty. I like that. I've not struggled with any of these shadows as yet. I'm hope I hope I'm not speaking too soon, but So far, I am very impressed. And I'm super excited to try the lipsticks too, um, which you will have seen in the, the intro, which I haven't filmed yet. Right. And then just using the other side of the same brush, I am going into, what is that? I'm going into Charm. So I haven't got my glasses on and it's wiggly writing. and. That generally kind of messes me up. So let's see. Oh, okay. 
This is beautiful. Wow. That bit of fallout there was my fault. I properly loaded up my brush then. Right. I'm just so kind of over eager to get it all on. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, I am I am impressed. Like officially officially impressed. And the shimmers just don't even require any blending into the other one. They're just kind of melted together. I'm trying to find something to complain about, but I can't. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't go out of my way to find something to complain about. I generally go out of my way to find the positives. I don't even need to go out of my way. This is just... Wow. Wow. Okay, I am I am absolutely loving this. Right, let me find just a little ditty brush. You will do. So I'm just going to take a bit of craft, the black, and I'm just going to connect the kind of upper and lower lid together. Okay, right, let's find what you do. I think you're going to be too big are you gonna to be too big yeah how about you okay so dipping into sacrifice the red and i'm just going to gently use that to off the edge of the black okay that's looking really good I'm happy that I uh, went in for the red look first. Now I'm even more excited for the blue and green look because uh, these have just performed amazingly well. God, indie brands are really smashing it at the moment. Really smashing it. I think all of my favourite eyeshadow formulas are from indie brands so i'm going to nip off finish my face and then i will come back to show you the finished look and we'll do some lipstick swatches i will have one on my lips and we'll do the others or all of them on the back of my hand we'll see so if you want to see the finished look then don't go anywhere okay so i'm back with the finished look what do you think let me know in the comments section below. I One thing I do have to say is this liquid lipstick is one of the most comfortable lipsticks, liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. But we'll get to the lipsticks in just a moment. Firstly, the Spellbook. This is my Dark Sides Dream Palette. It is beautiful. The shimmers are stunning. The mattes blend beautifully. That is an amazing black. I haven't tried the glitters yet, but I will. I will, because I'm definitely going to be picking this up to play with again. I'm desperate to try the blue and the green. Desperate. As uh, many of you will know, they are my favourites to play with. However, I am so happy that I did this look today. I am loving it. It's really embracing my dark side and I'm not ashamed. Yes, I love this. I cannot wait to play with this more. 
first impressions, I'm impressed. Beautiful. And also on the inside of this, you have a spell, which I think is, I love it. Protected by moonshine, this set provides magic. May your brushes be charmed. May your wands con conjure faces. May you produce a beautiful craft. May you design a binding spell. May they see the beauty within. May they feel the love spell. That sounds like my kind of spell. Yes, I love the packaging as well. It looks like a spell book. I have no complaints whatsoever. Now, the liquid lipsticks, oh my word. This lipstick is so comfortable. Um, this is in the shade Charm, the one that I have on. I also have, if I can read it, uh, Extraterrestrial, which is the green, and Amulet, which is the blue. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand so that you can see what they look like. So this here is extraterrestrial. And I will pop amulet right next to it. Once I stop making a mess on my table, desk, whatever you call it. Um, and Have I done that all right? Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> and this, the blue is amulet. So yeah. Beautiful colors, which I cannot wait to try, but I didn't want to take anything away from this look because it's so dark and so, oh, I just love it. I just feel witchy and mm, it's good. So yes, first impressions on everything. I'm so impressed. I cannot wait to see what else Curse Cosmetics comes out with. Impressive. So I am going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. If you have, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you're new around here, I am a huge color huge colour? I am a huge colour. I'm a huge lover of colourful makeup and a huge supporter of indie brands. So that is mainly what you'll find on my channel. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.